Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to apologize for the scuffed audio in this. I had to heavily edit it. Unfortunately, it keeps getting blocked worldwide. Um, it's the only way I can get it to play. That or no audio. We'll see if this works. Um, I, I figured this is a song that I really want to do a reaction to. So I figured this is the best way to do it. Or do no song audio like I did with the water parks. But I figured this might be a little bit of a better option. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, again, I'm sorry about the audio. Um, hope it's not too bad. Thank you. All right, gamers, what is up today? Uh, we're going to be reacting to another Data Remember track. Not another. Well, a new Data Remember track. I am a huge fan of Data Remember. I've seen him like four times at concert. Just saw him at 21st anniversary of Warp Tour at uh, the last or the last show. We'll see. Um, I saw the last tour, and then I'm seeing this saw the last show in uh, Jersey. Um, saw them play. Incredible, as always. Um they just announced a new tour recently called the Generates Tour. Play like a little clip of the breakdown, I believe, that's probably going to be in this song. Um, it's like it's going to hit like a brick, which sounded pretty sick. Um, and they announced that with like a tour called the Generates Tour. Um, it's going to be I Prevail and Beartooth, um, which are two bands that I, I like pretty well. Uh, I think I like Beartooth a little more than I Prevail, but um, I did remember it's been one of my all time favorite bands for a long time. Um, or been up there in the top list. Uh, they're almost always on the top of my Spotify plays. They make catchy, good songs. They can really they do a really good job of mixing heavy stuff with poppy. Um, my favorite album is for those who have heart, which is not everyone's favorite album. Uh, a lot of people love Homesick, but personally, I think for those who have heart is probably the best album they put out. Um, just because I think it really shows the, the 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 drive they had and the idea that if you know that you're going to, if you think, or if you know deep down that you're going to do something, it's going to happen. Like there's this track monument, uh, which uh, Jeremy talks about how he's trying to bas basically speaking into an existence that he is going to be something bigger than he is now. And that people are going to uh, later come back and be like, Oh, I totally knew him, even though they, they really didn't. It's like a whole, it's a whole thing about it's, it's, it's an interesting album and I really like it. Um, it, it's just it's a very it's a it's a fun thing to look at as someone who likes to do music and watch someone who was i mean they're, they're still pretty big i'm pretty sure when for those of a heart came out but to show uh or big ish uh for that for that scene at the time um but to see that and then them actually succeed in what they were saying they were doing and to continue to be a good band in 2019 is really awesome um so yeah, that's that's basically that's my I, I love it. I remember and I love everything I do. I I think they're I really look up to them. Anyway, I really liked the last album too. A lot of people didn't like it. Actually, I shouldn't say I really liked it. I liked the album. It wasn't the it what definitely wasn't their best album. Um, I liked Paranoia off it. Um, that was a sick track. Uh, even though it was, it was one of the singles was tri it was sick. Um, it was a little different for sure. Um, but I don't think they're going to abandon the heavy thing. Um, I know for a fact this track's gonna be poppy. Because uh, I saw Reddit comments uh, before I watched this, uh, before we're about to watch it, I should say. Um, so I know it's going to be a little poppy, which I'm okay with, because um, I know there'll probably be some heavy tracks on the album. Um, also, I didn't mind Marshmallow's track. A lot of people hated that too. I just I associate that with Marshmallow, not them. I know that they're on it. I just don't think see of it as them. So I don't see of them as selling out and going to like a crappy like not crappy sound, but like a more electronic sound. I still thought it was a fun track. It was catchy and short, or lyrics were simple, but it was catchy. It was fun. Anyway, before I start rambling on even more, let's check out this Degeneration track, which is now on Fueled by Ramen, which I didn't know about until today. So let's check it out. And I unfull screened it. I'm great at this. Okay. Hmm. Well... Okay, we got a little breakdown going on. I thought it was going to be more like that marshmallow track, and I was like, oh, I gotta eat my words, huh? Very simple, pretty pop punky so far. Alright, this is sick. And that's a fact. All right. I'm not sure how I feel about this little chorus. 
I mean, it's definitely gonna be fun in a show when you can everyone can sing it and the instrument is a little lower, and like everyone can do it together. But I'm not sure I feel that right now. Yeah, this feels almost like this. This vocal style almost feels like all time low, which I know is probably a weird comparison. So the but still the heavy thing in the back, but the vocal style. Yeah, I feel like that should have gone heavy right there. Hmm. Okay. I mean, the instrumental, I mean, it's, again, it's really simple so far. I'm hoping they do that breakdown that we heard in the Instagram post for the tour. I um, hope it's in this. Hmm. Is this the lead up to the breakdown? I don't know how I feel about this. Okay. Yeah, this is very pop punk. Okay. All right. I'll... Not the definitely not their sickest breakdown, but it was it decent. It was more of a shout than a scream too. Okay, I'm liking this. Oh, that's a nice fill. Oh, it keeps going. All right. I. Okay. I like the more evolution. Hmm. Okay. So that's... Is that fucking Jack Bearcat? Okay. Grammarly, you... Every time I get a Grammarly ad on these reaction videos, it's a problem. It's a problem. I don't want to use Adblock, so it's it's definitely a problem. Um, or at least on YouTube, I don't use Adblock. Um... So I, I don't know how I feel about this. This was interesting. Um, I liked the second half of the song after the breakdown. I love the instrumentals on that. The electronic thing was a little weird to me. Um, but like I said, I could see that being like a crowd chant type deal at a show. Not as much feeling it as on the record so far, uh, or at least on the digital version, um, like just hearing it the one time. Uh, but I feel like that's definitely something that's going to be like chanted. Um, not as... Not as heavy as a chant as something like, um, it's not Mr. Highway. What is the chant one? Um, God damn it. I'm blanking on what it is. Anyway, um, it's off homesick though. Um, uh, like the da, 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 that one. Um, if I could fucking remember my song titles. Um, anyway, um, but I, I think it could be interesting live and I know Jeremy for a fact, even on the lighter songs, he goes a little harder at least the last time I saw him, it seemed like he did. He was going um, harder on uh, the lighter songs. Like he was, he was putting more into it, um, like more grit and growl, and like probably that that in, that uh, that breakdown, for example, will probably be an actual scream. I'd imagine if it isn't, it isn't. But um, I don't know. I'm okay with this being like uh, one of the popular songs. Like uh, all I want. It's not as catchy as all I want. It's definitely so far not as good as all I want. But I can see this being like the pop single off of it. Um, I'm hoping the next single they drop is heavier. Uh, I'm trying to remember how they did it for Bad Vibrations. I know they dropped Paranoia. I can't remember if that one was first. Um, but uh, I'm hoping this, this doesn't mean they're just going to do, do pop stuff. I don't think they will. Um, they still got the heavier riffs in there. Um, Jeremy can still definitely do the vocals. Um, and he still seems very into it. At least he did it at uh, the Warp Tour. Um, so... This is interesting. This is interesting. It's an interesting direction. Um, but like I said, we could ju this could just be the one pop single off it, or like not just the one, but like the lightest song off it. And I'm okay with that. Um, it's definitely not my favorite to remember song so far, but I'm I'm okay with it. I'm definitely okay with this, especially since yeah, I'm just I'm okay with this because I I have a feeling we'll still get some heavy stuff. They they usually they almost always they they haven't let us down yet. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. I have faith in it. They remember, and I have faith that they will continue to make good music. Um, regardless of how I feel about this track, because it's, it's not exactly what I wanted, but I'm all right with it. 
Um, yeah, for sure. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, if you guys want to make sure to like the video, subscribe. Uh, you want to comment down below any other uh, songs I should check out. Um, some people have been requesting some stuff that I need to get up on. Um, there's uh, hopefully I'll definitely do more reactions to the next day. Remembers the track that will drop. Um, I hope it's not just degenerates until after this tour is over. Um, I assume the albums. I want to say the album is probably called Degenerates, right? If they're going to do a Degenerates tour. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe they'll just drop the album in the middle. No, that wouldn't make sense to drop the album in the middle of the tour. Um, unless they surprise drop this album and Messenger's going off. And they surprise drop this uh, album in the, before, right before the tour starts. I don't see that happening. Anyway, um, I'll definitely be checking out more. Did I remember? Comment down below some metalcore, post-hardcore, pop punk, uh, easycore. Um just anything that I might want to check out. I'll let you know if I've heard it already, um, but um, I'll try to do a reaction video to it if you guys are interested. Any new bands I might want to check out? Anything. All right. But yeah, thank you for watching. Like I said, make sure to subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. Um, you guys have a great day.